We begin with the uproar tonight involving Donald Trump and what he said about abortion and whether women who get abortions should be punished if it's banned. Trump saying today in his words, there has to be some form of punishment. When asked for the woman, the answer, yes, there has to be some form. But late today, Trump issuing a new statement, what appears to be a complete reversal now. This evening, his Republican opponents pouncing and Hillary Clinton saying, quote, just when you thought it couldn't get worse. ABC's Jonathan Carl with the video, what Trump originally said, and then his statement just hours later. Today in Wisconsin, Donald Trump staked out a hard new line on abortion. At an MSNBC forum, he was asked if Tomorrow women who get abortions should States be punished if it's made States. illegal. Do he said this. Do you believe in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Ten that, cents, ten years? I don't what? know. That I don't know. That well, why I don't not? Know. I don't you know. You take positions and everything else. I Frankly, I do take positions and everything else. It's a very complicated position. Asked if there should be punishment for the man involved, Trump said no. Hillary Clinton responded immediately, tweeting, just when you thought it couldn't get worse, horrific and telling. Trump's Republican rivals, both of whom oppose abortion rights, today rejected the idea of punishing women who have abortions. And tonight, just three hours after his controversial statements, Trump reversed himself completely, saying if abortion is banned, quote, the doctor or any other person performing this illegal act upon a woman would be held legally responsible, not the woman. The woman is a victim. Trump's comments come on a day he is firmly defending his campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, charged yesterday with battery after this security video appeared to show him grabbing this female reporter. Trump today openly mocked that reporter. This young woman reporter, who shouldn't have been where she was, and she grabbed me twice. She said, I was jolted backwards. She wasn't, right? Did anyone disagree? Someone had grabbed me tightly by the arm and yanked me down. Did she go down? Did she even go a little down, like a little, like a couple of inches? But on GMA, Trump took his criticism beyond the reporter, slamming the Jupiter, Florida Police Department that charged Lewandowski. Do you think Jupiter, Florida Police made the wrong call here? Absolutely. I think they made a wrong call. I think it's an embarrassment. Donald J. Trump, a president vote. Don't forget the vote. The controversy seems to be doing nothing to diminish the enthusiasm of Trump's supporters. Here in Appleton, Wisconsin, people have been waiting, some of them for hours, this line extending for several blocks, people waiting to get in to see Donald Trump. Now, as powerful Republicans try to stop Trump here in Wisconsin, Front runner is saying he may abandon the party if he loses the nomination. Lord, Do you continue to pledge whoever the Republican nominee is? Uh, no, I don't anymore. Look, uh, you don't. I, no, we'll see who it is. Trump's rivals seem to be abandoning the pledge too. Ohio Governor John Kasich and Senator Ted Cruz both say they may not support Trump if he wins the nomination. And John Carl with us live from Wisconsin tonight. And John, this new abortion controversy comes just before the key Wisconsin primary, of course. I wanted to show everyone at home the new numbers tonight. Ted Cruz in the lead in Wisconsin. Donald Trump trailing by 10 points, a crucial state. And John Trump's opponents pouncing and quickly on his comments today. Yeah, and Wisconsin's one of the biggest states left to vote. It's also a state where the winner gets most, if not all, of the delegates. So a loss here for Donald Trump in Wisconsin would make it much harder for him to get the delegates he needs to clinch the nomination before the convention this summer. David. Jonathan Carl in Milwaukee tonight. John, thank you.